हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर हिमांशु गुप्ता एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज फ्यू पॉइंट्स अबाउट ऑर्थोपेडिक्स सो फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस फ्यू क्वेश्चंस विद यू देन इन द एंड वी विल डिस्कस द आंसर्स ओके फ्रेंड्स सो दिस इज द पार्ट टू ऑफ द ऑर्थोपेडिक्स डिस्कशन यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड द फर्स्ट पार्ट द लिंक ऑफ विच इज गिवन in the description below if you find the video useful do like my video and post your comments in the comment section below so let us begin gans canal syndrome is due to entrapment of which nerve pronator syndrome is due to entrapment of which nerve trethovan sign is seen in what is ortolani maneuver what is bar barlo maneuver thurston holland fragment sign is order of correction in ctev is difference between solid ankle cushion heel and jaipur foot chopard's fracture is Liz Frank's fracture is O Donhu tried is Macmure test is positive for which injury Beheaded dog or beheaded Scottish terrier sign is seen in Fractures known for non union Test for shoulder instability test for inferior shoulder instability posterior and anterior hill sex linger is tell the nerve involvement in montegia fracture supracondylar fracture vic fracture shaft humerus what is game keeper's thumb what is mallet finger what is jersey finger what is bowler's thumb now discuss the various bursitis housemaid's knee is due to which bursitis friends think the answer in your mind clergyman's knee is due to which bursitis weaver's bottom tennis elbow golfer's elbow friends now you will say the names of the various osteochondritis scaphoid osteochondritis is called as lunate think navicular calcaneum femur head this is the simplest ring epiphysis of vertebrae central bony nucleus of vertebrae osgood shatler's disease johansson larsons osteochondritis desicans osteochondritis desicans what are the markers of bone resorption hydroxyproline cross linked seat tilopeptide markers of bone formation osteocalcin and arp friends in the end i will discuss the names of the various fractures so let us start our discussion from the fracture named fractures fracture of c1 that is atlas is called as jefferson's fracture jefferson's fracture you can remember it by the mnemonic jut 
J stand for Jefferson's A for Atlas fracture of C2 X is, is known as hangman's fracture hangman's fracture you can remember it by the mnemonic H2 H for hangman 2 for C2 fracture of spinous process of lower cervical vertebra is clay schobler's fracture clay schobler's fracture what is whiplash injury whiplash injury is hyperextension followed by hyperflexion what is hinge fracture or motorcyclist fracture it is the fracture of base of skull fracture of base of skull okay friends now what is the fracture of proximal end of ulna and proximal radio ulnar joint dislocation montegia fracture fracture of lower one third of radius and dislocation of proximal uh, distal radio ulnar joint galliesi fracture fracture of extra articular fracture of radius and dorsal displacement colles fracture it is extra articular what is intra articular fracture of radius intra articular fracture of radius is barton's fracture intra articular fracture of distal end of radius intra articular fracture of distal end of radius is barton's fracture what is fracture of base of first metacarpal rolando's fracture rolando's fracture base of first metacarpal and if there is displacement rolando's fracture is mostly commutated and if there is displacement also then it is bennett's fracture displacement is due to abductor pollicis muscle abductor pollicis muscle okay friends so now we will see the name fractures of pelvis fracture of si joint and pubis is known as mel gagne fracture mel gagne fracture fracture of bilateral 
pubis is known as fracture of bilateral pubis is known as what do you think friends it is known as straddle fracture straddle fracture now we will discuss the some named fractures of the foot fracture of talus is known as aviator's fracture fracture calcaneum is known as lover's fracture fracture base of first metatarsal is known as jones fracture fracture neck of second and third metatarsal is known as march fracture march fracture fracture of distal end of tibia intraarticular tibia is known as pylons fracture pylons fracture spiral fracture of fibula spiral fracture of fibula due to inversion of ankle is known as mesenuber fracture mesen newer fracture fracture of fibula due to inversion of angle bimalleolar fracture pots fracture bimalleolar fracture is pots fracture and trimalleolar fracture is cotton's fracture cotton's fracture you should also know what is tilox fracture tilox fracture this you will see in your books so friends this was all about fractures now we will discuss the various questions now where is gaines canal syndrome gaines canal syndrome is due to the involvement of ulnar nerve pronator syndrome is due to involvement of median nerve trithoven sign is positive in s c f e slipped cubital femoral epiphysis what is trithoven sign what is trithoven sign in trithoven sign the clean line usually passes through the head of femur clean line is a line parallel to the femoral neck but when this clean line does not pass through the femoral head when this clean line does not pass through the femoral head it is known as trithoven sign positive so see here clean line was passing through the femoral head in a normal person but in scfe due to the slippage of femoral epiphysis the clean line 
do not pass through the femoral head what is ortolani maneuver ortolani means andar lana andar lana it is done in development dysplasia of hip and it is abduction of hip joint it is abduction of hip joint barlow maneuver is bahar le jana and it is abduction of hip joint in patients of development dysplasia of hip so there is a mnemonic for this dad dislocation is by adduction dislocation of hip is by adduction so in so in barlow maneuver we do adduction and rab is for abduction reduction of hip joint in ddh patient is by abduction so ortolani maneuver is andar lana andar kaise lekar aate hain by abduction and barlow maneuver is bahar le jana फीमेर के हेड को बाहर ले जाना एंड दैट इज बाय एडक्शन थर्स्टन हॉर्न फ्रेगमेंट साइन इट इज टू सीन इन टाइप टू सोल्टर हेरिस क्लासिफिकेशन टाइप टू सोल्टर हेरिस क्लासिफिकेशन व्हाट इज टाइप वन टाइप वन द फ्रैक्चर लाइन पास थ्रू द फाइसिस टाइप टू फ्रैक्चर लाइन पासिस थ्रू फाइसिस प्लस मेटाफाइसिस फ्रैक्चर लाइन पासिस थ्रू फाइसिस एंड हेयर द फ्रैक्चर लाइन पासिस थ्रू फाइसिस प्लस मेटाफाइसिस ओके फ्रेंड्स इन टाइप थ्री द फ्रैक्चर लाइन पासिस थ्रू फाइसिस प्लस एपी फाइसिस फ्रैक्चर लाइन पासिस थ्रू फाइसिस प्लस एपी फाइसिस इन फ्रैक् टाइप फोर सोल्टर है इस क्लास क्वेश्चन फ्रैक्चर लाइन पासिस थ्रू ऑल थ्री अब एंड टाइप फाइव इज क्रश्ड इंजरी what is the order of correction in ctv it is cave cavus then adduction then varus deformity then equinus deformity what is the difference between such foot and jaipur foot in such foot you have to wear shoes you don't need to wear shoes <laughs> squatting is not possible in such foot and it is possible in jaipur foot what is chopart fracture chopart fracture is inter tarsal joint dislocation and what is lis frank that is tarso meta tarsal joint dislocation what is o donoh tried o donoh tried is involvement of acl 
प्लस मीडियल कोलेट्रल लिगामेंट प्लस मीडियल मिनिस्कस एंटीरियर कोलेट्रल लिगामेंट मीडियल कोलेट्रल लिगामेंट एंड मीडियल मिनिस्कस मकमूरे टेस्ट इज पॉजिटिव फॉर इंजरी ऑफ मीडियल मिनिस्कस मीडियल मिनिस्कस इंजरी इज पॉजिटिव फॉर मकमूरे टेस्ट फ्रेंड्स यू शुड ऑल्सो नो द अटैचमेंट ऑफ ऑन द अपर सर्फेस ऑफ टीबिया ऑन द अपर सर्फेस ऑफ टीबिया what is the order of attachment from anterior to posterior order of attachment is the mnemonic is medical college lucknow and lucknow medical college where m stands for anterior horn of मीडियल मिनिस्कस मीडियल मिनिस्कस सी फॉर एंटीरियर क्रोशियट लिगामेंट एल फॉर लेटरल एंटीरियर हॉन ऑफ लेटरल मिनिस्कस देन पोस्टीरियर हॉन ऑफ लेटरल मिनिस्कस पोस्टीरियर क्रोशियट लिगामेंट एंड सॉरी एम फॉर पोस्टीरियर हॉन ऑफ मीडियल मिनिस्कस पोस्टीरियर हॉन ऑफ मीडियल मिनिस्कस एंड सी स्टैंड फॉर पोस्टीरियर क्रोशियट लिगामेंट दीज आर ऑर्डर ऑफ अटैचमेंट ऑफ द वेरियस लिगामेंट्स ऑन द अपर सर्फेस ऑफ टीबिया बिहेडेड डॉग और बिहेडेड स्कॉटिश टेरियर साइन इज सीन इन एंट्रोलिस्थेसिस 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 और स्पॉन्डाइलो लिस्थेसिस दैट इज मूवमेंट ऑफ वन वर्टिब्रा ओवर अनदर डिसलोकेशन ऑफ वन वर्टिब्रा ओवर अनदर एंड देर इज पार्स इंटर आर्टिकुलर इज फ्रैक्चर विद डिसलोकेशन ऑफ वर्टिब्रा फ्रैक्चर नोन फॉर नॉन यूनियन आर नमोनिक इज फ्लूट्स फ्लूट्स where n stands for femur neck l for lunate u for ulna lower one third t for lower one third of tibia s for स्केफॉर्ड फ्रैक्चर एस फॉर स्केफॉर्ड फ्रैक्चर एल स्टैंड फॉर नॉट यूनिट एल स्टैंड फॉर लेटरल कॉन्डाइल ऑफ ह्यूमरस लेटरल कॉन्डाइल ऑफ ह्यूमरस सो दीज आर द फ्रैक्चर्स Known for non-union, femur neck, lateral condyle of humerus, ulna lower one third, lower one third, tibia lower one third, and um, also body of body of talus and scaphoid. so what are the test for shoulder instability test for shoulder instability for inferior it is sulcus test 
for procedure it is jerk test for anterior it is anterior drawer test anterior drawer test or fulcrum test what is hilsef lesion hilsef decision is lesion is posterior lateral defect posterior lateral defect in the head of humerus posterior lateral defect in the head of humerus due to anterior dislocation of the head due to anterior dislocation of the head so this is how it looks like this is the posterior lateral defect in the head of humerus due to anterior dislocation so now you will tell the nerve involvement nerve involvement in montegia fracture is posterior interosseous nerve in supracondylar fracture anterior interosseous nerve wolfman ischemic contracture it is anterior is interosseous nerve in fracture shaft of humerus it is radial nerve also in supracondylar fracture median nerve can be involved radial nerve or ulnar nerve so these are the order of involvement in the supracondylar fracture you can remember it by the mnemonic amru so what is gamekeeper's thumb Game keeper's thumb is the injury to the ulnar collateral ligament. Ulnar collateral ligament of first metacarpal. Ulnar collateral ligament of first metacarpal. Mallet finger is due to the avulsion of extensor tendons. Avulsion of extensor tendons. Jersey finger is due to the avulsion of flexor digitorum profundus. So this is how jersey finger. It is due to the Avulsion of flexor digitorum profundus. What is extensor tendon disruption causes? Mallet finger. Mallet finger. And this is ulnar collateral ligament. Gamekeeper's thumb. gamekeeper's thumb what is bowler thumb bowler thumb is ulnar digital nerve compression ulnar digital nerve compression what is housemaid's knee housemaid's knee is pre patellar bursitis Pre-patellar bursitis. Clergyman's is infrapatellar bursitis. Weaver's bottom is ischial bursitis. Tennis elbow is bursitis of lateral epicondyle. Lateral epicondyle. Golfer's M elbow is medial epicondylitis housemaid's knee is pre-patellar bursitis 
clergyman is intrapatellar weaver's bottom is ischia also you have to remember union it is bursitis of first metatarsal first metatarsal now you will tell me the names of scaphoides preserves disease lunatis keen bock navicularis colar calcaneum is severs femur head is parthes ring epiphysis of vertebrae is shoreman central bony nucleus of vertebra is calves osgood shatler tibial tuberosity friends i will also give you the mnemonics for these johansen larsen is patella osteochondritis desicans is lateral surface of medial condyle lateral surface of medial condyle of femur so the mnemonic for them is navicular ends with lar collars ends with lar calcaneum you can just remember save calcaneum save calcaneum to walk properly save calcaneum <coughs> for shoreman you can remember it by the mnemonic shoreman nice t-shirt we are t t s stands for thoracic spine thoracic spine osgood shetlers double t which stands for tibial tuberosity so friends this is how you will remember the base osteochondritis list i will repeat again scaphoid preserves lunate kinbock navicular collars calcaneum severs femur head parthes ring epiphysis shoreman central bony nucleus of vertebrae calves osgood shetlers tibial tuberosity johansen larsen's patella osteochondritis densicans lateral surface of medial condyle of femur so friends this was all about orthopedics hope you enjoyed the video and if you find the video useful do like the video thank you friends